What's up y'all, this is Dominic with the Port Pumper Society. I am out here, absolute beautiful view of the Texas Hill Country. And that's where a lot of these uh, septic systems are. We are about a couple miles out from the uh, nearest town. So of course, this would not make sense to connect to the uh, city sewer line. So we got this house right here. Customer let me know it was built in 1999 tank has never been open, let alone pumped, so I'm about to go in, dig it up, and see what it looks like. That's about, what, 24 years <laughs> of poop and pee in this tank, so we're going to get a good idea of what a lot of these people, septic tanks, look like that say they haven't had it pumped out in the past 20 something years. So, if this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. If you want to try out any of the tools I use in my video, you can check in the description box down below. Those are affiliate links, so it helps out me as well as helps out the channel. And without further ado, let's get the pumping. So you can see we've got this nice dead spot right here. And that is definitely our septic tank. Maybe you can get a better look at it from the side. We've got sewer clean out over here. Looks like it's a four inch cap, pretty good size. And that is where our septic tank should be. So this is gonna have two compartments. I'm gonna have the inlet right here and then walk a little further down to the end of the tank. Just a few inches from the end of it should be our outlet side lid. These are gonna be about 16 to 20 inches in diameter. So I'm gonna see how deep it is by using my soil probe and then start digging these up. So we got my soil probe in the ground, let's listen. That's the echo of a tank. And let's see how deep our tank is. About a little over a foot, probably about 18 inches, 16 to 18 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out the shovel, start digging this up. So we're getting to the tank right now, just looking for the lid. If you look over here, you can see we got the outline of a round lid. So this is the tank, that's the lid. So I gotta open up this hole more that way. Should be about 16 to 20 inches in diameter. So, whew, close, very close. At least we're uh, stepping the right direction. So I'm gonna keep uncovering that. Whew, after I take a little breather. You don't wanna dig more than one of these a day. <laughs> damn full oh yeah you can see that right there let's see how thick that top crust is yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> pretty thick Yeah, and what, what happens, some of the reasons you may be experiencing that gurgling is once that top crust gets so thick, it starts going underneath that baffle right there. You can already see there's like some paper and stuff. Yeah, because that's supposed to, that's a T, right? Yes, sir. So, so it's supposed to have air and water supposed to go down. Yes, sir, and so underneath. Coming up, stopping it. Yes, sir. So yep. there's that one, and then I'll get this other side dug up. That should uh, be the other side of this concrete baffle. And... After that, I'll get to pumping it out. Yeah, keep that measurement. You won't miss it. <laughs> right? Yeah, I usually uh, <laughs> yeah, usually these uh, the secondary lids. You can see the outline of the tank right here. Yeah. So if I just line it up, maybe like one step forward, that's where that outlet side lid is. Yeah, right in there. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Yeah, good thing we got it. We're gonna get it pumped out today. <laughs> yeah. Less headache in the future. You want to wet it down a little bit so it ain't so hard to dig. So we got the first compartment right there. We we're digging, hit tank, and you can see this right here is where our second lid is going to be for the outlet. So got to open it up this way, and then we should have both lids. So I got juked out on the outlet lid. You see, this is tiny. I don't know what this is, but hopefully the uh, lid is a little further that way. Just on a little bit through all this rock. 
always <laughs> have people talking about digging. I mean, that's the beautiful soil we have here in Central Texas to dig through. So you can see I am absolutely drenched. That's the only dry spots. <laughs> that's all sweat, it's not poo water, I promise. Back to digging. Okay, so we finally found the actual outlet side lid. You can see what threw me off. It's kind of offset a bit. So I don't know who manufactured this, but not like the others I've ever dug up, unfortunately, but at least we found it. So now I gotta open it up a little further this way and we should be able to pop it open. Finally get to pumping. All right, yeah. And mostly yeah. water, yeah. So it does have a concrete baffle separating the two chambers. Yeah, but they said it was supposed to overflow. All right, so they got it about halfway, so the oh, so halfway up. So the layer in the middle will flow over. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see that right there. Yeah. That's that gas coming back from the leach field. You can see it's directly underneath that pipe. Right. So should be good to pump now, so I'll go ahead and get my hoses out and <laughs> get after it. So we got both the lids <laughs> finally dug up and popped open. And the customer brought me out some Gatorade and a cup of ice. Uh, very refreshing. Mm -hmm. bunch of wipes and hair in the bucket. We got it all pumped down, bit of a workout. I even walked a mile this morning doing my routes in Pokemon Go. And then my arms are sore as hell because uh, 
decided to go back into the gym and kind of hit it hard so my triceps and my chest are sore even my legs i did squat the other day Whew. so <laughs> i'm struggling right now but it's all worth it but yeah i recommend it to the customer they go ahead and get it uh some risers installed that way it won't have to be dug up next time and hopefully they won't wait 24 years the next time we have this thing pumped out it's going to be beneficial for the lifespan of the drain field and it's just good practice all around good practice of maintenance and should last a lot longer than uh the next 20 years so that's the video if you have any questions about your septic system or any questions relating to septic just drop them down in the comments below if you like the video make sure you hit that like button uh, you can keep up with me on all of my platforms i post on tiktok instagram facebook just search up poor pumper society and you should find me pretty quick but that's the video and as always i appreciate y'all watching take care